What's up guys, it's your boy Cat Loco, and this is probably my biggest tool haul yet. You won't want to miss this one. What's up guys, so I went in the pawn shop the other day and I looked at some ratchets. The first ratchet I found was this one here. It kind of looks like a snap-on ratchet. But this is actually a Made in USA Blackhawk. And the model is GW9945B. And it has the uh, USA on there. I don't know if you can see it. But it says USA. And it's like, I mean, it was marked for $13. Dude gave it to me for $8. And it's not bad for a nice Blackhawk ratchet. This is my first one I think I ever owned. The other thing that I saw when I bought this one snap on now this thing is a quarter inch THLL 72 made in USA this one I believe um, this is what Jay Young gave away but he had the uh, I think he had a comfort grip on his and <laughs> this is probably the most expensive quarter inch ratchet I've ever bought this thing was $70 and I think this goes for even more on eBay. So I went ahead and picked up a snap on, but being loco, you know, I didn't stop there. So I picked up this uh, THLL 72. Then uh, I was like, you know what? Let me get another one, right? So I was on eBay and I saw this one. This one here is just the TL-72, also made in USA, quarter inch. I mean, listen to that. Real fine tooth. So I had to get its uh, cousin to go along with it. And I, I can't remember how much I paid for this, but I'll have to look. So, you know, being local again, I was like, you know, Junkie likes those comfort grips. So I picked up this one with the Flex. And this is THLF72 with the comfort grip. And it's the Flex head. So I picked up my third Snap-on ratchet. So now I got three Snap-on quarter inches, right? I was like, you know what? I should get three eighths. Yeah. So I saw this one on eBay. Everyone knows this one. This is the FL80. Three eighths. Nice fine teeth on this one too. I really like this one. But you know what? <clears throat> this ain't got the flex though. I don't have the comfort grip. So I need to get one of those. So boom. I saw this one. This is the FHL F80 Flex. This one has a little slack to it. But it has a comfort grip. It's used but I'm going to use the hell out of it too. And this is easy to tighten up. I'm not worried about it. Nice sound on it. So I got me a comfort grip, 3 8 Snap-on USA. So now I have what, five Snap-on ratchets. I saw this one. It's like, yeah, I need another flex, yo. This one here is the FLF 80, made in USA. Nice teeth, man. So I got my three or two, no, three snap on ratchets and three eighths and three snap on quarter inch ratchets. I got flex in each. And I was like, you know what? I saw another one. 
So boom. I found this like the shorter version of the uh, F80. Nice and clean. Made in good old USA, man. Good old America. So, I mean, I had a nice little short snap-on ratchet. So now I got four 3 eighths snap-on ratchets. So, my ass goes on and goes into um, the pawn shop. I saw this, yo. It's not snap on, don't worry. This is a Proto 7525 7F Flex 3 8 ratchet. And this thing is probably one of my favorites. Nice, smooth, clean. Yeah. Has the uh, knurled handle. Just like my uh, Black Hawk did. A little quarter inch and I really like this one for some reason it's not snap-on but you know same family but this Proto is real nice I got this for a decent price so count with me I got a Blackhawk I got a Proto let's put it to the side right so now I have <clears throat> I bought three quarter inch snap-ons. Then I bought four three-eighths ratchets snap-on, all made USA. You do the math. So I got quarter inch, I got three-eighths, right? What about the big sockets local? So I saw something else, man. <sighs> Half inch, made in USA, SL936. I think this is about 36 teeth, but real strong, nice for cracking bolts, especially rusty ones. Most of these are 80 tooth that I got before, but this thing's like 15 and a half inches long. Got some weight on it, like my uh, Steelman. Don't sound the greatest, but I think it'll do the job. You need something strong when you get all these fine teeth, weak ass ratchets. So yeah, I picked this one up. But you know what? Local wasn't done, mate. So. <clears throat> I don't have it right now. It's still sh on its way in the mail. So you remember before, I bought the comfort grip ones, you know, with the flex. Quarter inch, three eighths, and I have a half inch comfort grip flex in the mail coming. Unfortunately, it wasn't here for the video, but I should have it probably by Saturday. So yeah, man, I bought nine snap-on ratchets. You know how like a tool hole never seems to end, yo? So I told you this is my biggest tool haul yet, and I don't even know how many minutes this video has been going for. So Kush, he made a video today and he talked about the magic smoke. So on my last, what, eBay or pawn shop uh, vid I did, I picked up these. I picked up the CTS 7610 and the CT 761QC. Now today, Cushion Mechanic <clears throat> did the hilarious magic smoke video on this 14 volt screwdriver. And that thing was just leaking, man. He had that thing leaking. All kind of smoke. He said he's gonna burn it up next time. So disrespectful. Snap on, man. But anyway, 
I had bought these two and then this one here came with that green uh, snap-on battery <coughs> so I'm like what I'm gonna do with a green snap-on battery on a red gun you know so being cat loco you know what I did so I took this battery of mine and yep I did <clears throat> I got me the green monster 14.4 volt impact ratchet and this wasn't I probably paid a third of the price on eBay this is pretty I mean it's pretty pristine condition so I picked up this ratchet um, just cuz I didn't want to put a green battery on a red gun so I know eventually I was gonna have one so that's what this goes to now so <clears throat> after the uh, snap-on ratchets the three snap-on guns you think I'd be done right yeah so next up I was like you know what I really wanted a uh, snap-on gun with the uh, chuck on it with the friction ring so I did it I picked up the CT 625 this is the older one then I picked up the uh, I think the 661 also quarter inch <clears throat> so I picked both of these up Then, so what, that's like five? Uh, let's see. I picked up the 661 since I already had the 7.2s going. But I wasn't really, you know, happy with the, the older weak battery. So why not? I picked up the 761, 14.4. And I probably paid literally like a third of the price. I mean, most of these were probably like 70 to about. The red one's probably up to 120. Two of them came with the battery and charger. So those were probably like 100 or more. And the bare green one, I think it was like 120, 130. But yeah. I picked up two three eighths, two quarters, and the gray monster. But yet again, I told you, local does big. So let's put these to the side for a minute. So I got the ratchets. I got a bunch of guns, but there's one more thing, man, I was missing. One minute. <clears throat> Any guesses what this is? So yet again, I was uh, at the pawn shop, and on a Friday, I went there and They had a gun for like three seventy nine. I was like, no, nah, it's too much, you know. And then he said, okay, I'll drop it three forty two. And you know, I thought about it, but I was like, that's too much. So I happened to go in there Saturday. I saw a lot of you know stuff outside. You know what's going on. They had a twenty five percent off entire store discount going on so you know what I went for yeah picked up the CT8850 pretty much in pristine condition 
looked like it was pretty much never used. 80-50, half inch. And this thing came with the tool. Two 18 volt batteries. Plus the charger. So I got two new batteries. The charger. And the back for about 284. So before this, I was like, you know, I ain't paying $400 for a snap on half inch. I was going to get the Milwaukee. But the Milwaukee was with the battery and a charger was $399.99 because I don't own any of the uh, M18 tools. I have the M12s. So Milwaukee. 400 snap on 384 or 284 sorry it was 311 with tax Milwaukee would probably been like 420 with tax so brand new snap on 8850 is a no-brainer I really want to try it out I was really leaning towards Milwaukee but I mean if I'm gonna save almost 100 bucks and some change I'm gonna go with snap on. But, yep, that's it, man. I promise. If you guys like the video, um, comment, like, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, I'm not, I'm not a loyal Harbor Freight guy. But, you know, being a community, there's times when you wanna try out these uh, snap on tools. So the good thing about this sort of saving grace is I can use them. They retain their price, their value pretty well. So if I want to get rid of them, I can sell them back, get my money back, or even make a profit off them. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. This is my haul. This will probably be one of my last hauls for a while. I really want to start the, uh, the uh, cutlass build before the snow gets down. Um, I want to at least do the interior, do the in finish up the engine, get it started. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys.